Hey guys, Jimmy Versolino here, USMC vet, mortgage originator, specializing in VA loans. Most of you know me by now, but this channel is dedicated to the brave men and women who have so honorably defended and continue to defend this great nation. We talk about all things VA loan related, and today we're going to talk about something that I get a lot from my veterans and active duty and they want to know, Jimmy, can I buy a house with a non-veteran? It's a good question, right? Non-veteran that perhaps we should take it one step further. That is not my spouse. Hmm, even better question. Today, we're going to answer just that. How to take advantage of a VA loan, purchase a home with a non-veteran who is not a spouse, i.e. brother, mom, dad, sister, relative, or even a friend. Good to go? So we're going to talk about that today. But before we do, you know we've got some business to take care of. You know you need to click like on this video. If I've earned it, of course, and you found that this information is of value, you know you need to subscribe to this channel so that way you can make sure that you're getting all of the newest VA loan content to help veterans and active duty service members level up in their lives. And lastly, comment with your questions down below and we will make sure that you get all of your questions answered. Good to go? All right, so let's get this party started. Can I buy a home with a non-veteran? The answer, yes. Yes, you can. And today I'm going to explain to you how, but here's the deal. A lot of mortgage lenders out there will tell you, no, you can't, all right? And the reason why is, is because they don't know how to originate these types of loans. The VA has a, a name for it. I'm gonna write this down here, but it's called a VA joint loan. And a VA joint loan simply means this. It's where a veteran and non-veteran that aren't married are purchasing a home together. A lot of mortgage originators will say no for one reason only. They don't know how to originate that. I'm gonna explain to you what this is and how it works and what the requirements are going to be. Number one, obviously it's gotta be a veteran that's taking advantage of the VA loan. And secondly, that non-veteran that's not a spouse that's on the VA loan needs to live in in the home. So in other words, it's got to be, you guys, a primary residence for everybody that's living in the home. Now I'm gonna back up for a second. I'm gonna briefly explain how VA home loans work. The VA does not lend the money. They simply guarantee the loan. You with me on that so far? Meaning if you were to foreclose on your loan for any reason, the Department of Veterans Affairs would send the lender a check for 25% of your loan balance. That's the only thing that VA does. All right, so think about it like this. Every veteran has a 25% entitlement guarantee from the VA loan. So for example, Taylor, if you and I were buying a home together, okay, guess what would have to happen? Well, if you're not my spouse, right, and we're purchasing this home, well, the VA said, well, wait a sec, they're not married, so what ends up having to happen is, is Jimmy, we're gonna reduce your guarantee in half. In other words, we would have to then come in with a, you ready for this? 12.5% down payment. That 12.5% down payment is, well, half of 25% because I'm purchasing the home with a non-veteran. So for example, if a veteran was using a $100,000 loan, the veteran would end up having to come in with $12,500 in the form of a down payment. We're keeping the math super simple. By the way, somebody actually commented on one of my channels and said, Jimmy, I'm surprised that you didn't write in crayon for the Marines. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, I loved it, by the way. But anyways, 12.5% is half of 25%. So that is really the biggest thing that veterans and active duty service members need to be aware of if they're purchasing a home with a non-veteran. Number one, they've got to come in with a 12.5% down payment. And number two, that non-veteran that's not the spouse of the veteran needs to ensure that they are living in the home. Yes, it can be done. It's called a VA joint loan. The VA has to approve it, okay? So in other words, we need to take your loan package and deliver it to the VA to get their stamp of approval on it, but it can be done. We're very familiar with how they work. For more questions and answers as it relates to VA joint loans, my team and I stand by ready to serve. Comment with your questions down below. Roger up with me by visiting my website at valoansforvets.com. Hey, thank you and may God bless you for your service to our great country.